Hello everybody, welcome to week number seven in the Rebel. Um, the top of the table clash, I've won five, lost one. Two claw mighty blow guys and a block mighty blow guy who's neat about to level hopefully. And a claw mighty blow beast man and some block. Um, versus Buford T Justice who's top of the league with six wins. Hasn't conceded a, a touchdown at all. Um, and he's got a garden me. Mighty Blow White, Blodge Ghoul, Dirty Player. So a bit a bit of a scary matchup. Like I think Undead are still at the point where they're better than better than Chaos here. Um but you know, it'll be it'll be interesting. He might get um he might get a wizard here, mightn't he? Um if he's a dirty dingo, of course he does. Oh god. Just a text, give me a second. Fucking hell. Hit it when you reply and then you do view instead of send. Bloody hell. Sen I nearly had a really bad accident. She's pretty shocked. That's not good, is it? No, yeah. I don't blame him scumming the wizard. I mean, I would have done the same, obviously. Well, no, if I cared about winning, which I wouldn't. <laughs> but then... Yes! <laughs> okay, then. Here is another small contribution for the all goat team. Oh, 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 P, oh, 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 P, oh, 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 P, oh, 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 P. <laughs> oop, oop. Um, yes, uh, thank you very much, Last Frogman, for that J Can style. For that, uh... For that donation, um, I guess the all goat team will happen. Um, now that I've been donated five dollars and five pounds, thank you very much. It did fit in financial fair play, but obviously, if financial fair play was in action, I wouldn't have got the reserve. But then, if I cared about the re result, I wouldn't have got the reserve either. So you know, six and two threes. Personally, if I was him, I don't know if I would have got the wizard. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. It's fair enough. And if you want to win, you take the wizard. If you don't care, you don't. But I'm not very good at clicking today, I tell you. Um, this claw has to be some kind of a zero. Wow, well, the one star player point. Murder, death, kill. Gets to hide out there. Warriors. Yep, symmetrical. Very important to be symmetrical. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I did quite well to get two claw guys. To be fair, two claw mighty blow after six games is really lucky. You know, like I've done done very well with this um, to get these this level of um, you know level of progression after only six games is unbelievable. But then you know, I still think even though I've got incredible development, what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight skills, and he's got pedestrian development. With only five and obviously stacking as well i still think he's probably the favorite and especially with a wizard um but yeah what can i say it's the bottom divisions um so the results don't count i mean maybe he's going to the playoffs might be cool but uh you know it is what it is and call the guards They're devastational. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Completely all bludgeoned ads, yeah, interesting. Um Yeah, I mean I obviously have the claws in the, I like the claw in the middle. It's obviously a bit asymmetrical in terms of skills in that I've got claw mighty blow on one side and block but you know I couldn't help. But yeah, I, I like keeping it kind of symmetrical. I'm in between the seasons Rebel Cup thing. Ah. I don't know if I'll enter. I don't know if I'll enter that. <laughs> if I can play, if I can play bigger boys, I don't want to play bigger boys with this team. I just want my guys to survive. Yeah, I've got no tackle either, have I? So, you know, no way to get down the ghouls. But again, the the, the sad the sad state of 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 multi tiered leagues is it's probably better for me to lose this game. You know, and, but I I don't want to I don't want to lose. Fucking, I fucking hate losing, and I will always try to win. So, it is what it is. Uh, 
Dirty Dingo, Dirty Dingo with a, with a catch there. That would have been a pretty sweet kickoff as well. That would have been a pretty sweet kickoff because it would have left one ghoul miles away from the ball. This ghoul would have had to go all the way there to pick it up. And if you'd fit, you would have had to get guys in front and everything to put him on the sideline. Totally pinned him on the sideline there. That would have been that, was, that would have been an incredible, incredibly lucky kick. But then it was countered by his incredibly lucky um, high kick and, step and uh, catch. <laughs> you could just have everyone stand on the line. Yeah, good day, Nick. <laughs> you could do that, yeah. Uh oh, mighty right, blow hit on Best for Gore. Oh shit, I shouldn't put Best for Gore on the line. Maybe I should though, maybe he's unkillable. We're about to find out, I guess. I always feel like if your opponent takes a long time to 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 follow up, they'll always cast. That's how I feel. Do you know what? Maybe I should have got a guard on that beast man. So I could call the mummy. That that would have been maybe a maybe a better idea than what I did. Something to ponder on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think they're a, I think they're a weird choice for uh, you know rebel because high TV they're shit. Um, basically, it's not really a not really a, a exaggeration. They're a bit they're a bit poor at high TV. Um, obviously, they're the boss at low TV. Incredible at low TV, but pretty bad at high TV. So while you'll have more fun in the lower leagues, you'll uh, you'll struggle in the higher leagues. Uh, on the third exit, well, actually, rat and blood. What's going to happen is the second exclamation point fail. Uh, I'm I'm going to redo. I'm going to redo the uh, the uh, the teams because I think having exclamation points is going to be rubbish for YouTube, isn't it? So I realised that afterwards. So I'm just going to I'm going to do the weekend warriors today and tomorrow. Try and play ten games today, ten games tomorrow, and then just see how see how they do against maybe the lower. The worst competition on weekends is the I is the idea. I've got to do a claw hit here, haven't I? Stand him up. Maybe I should have blitzed with block. Yep, looks like it, doesn't it? Seeing as I don't really care about removing the guy. But then I wanted to get the block in here. So, you know, maybe I shouldn't have. Probably should have blocked the block there. Need the cow, need the cow for his, his the passing players, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean I used Undead in, in UK BBL when I just wanted to win the season, the, the one season that I had the chance to win it, which was the first one. Um, and then I thought, you know, I could play it for like, I thought I could play the Undead for like two, three, maybe even four seasons and still have a shot of winning. And then I'd re-roll it in Nurgle, because Nurgle weren't out. If Nurgle were out, maybe I would have uh, started with Nurgle in UK BBL, but yeah, that was the thing. That was different because it was the start of it. It was the brand new season, wasn't it? So, And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for that meddling hippie. Yeah, Necro are all right. Necro are all right. I just don't like them. Is the uh, is the problem that Necro have? Same with Skaven. You know, they're good teams. I just don't just don't like them. So there you go. Inarian. It's also Inarian Ducky now, isn't there for Wood Elves? So Wood Elves is just a write off. <laughs> Wood Elves is an absolute write off this season. People have got to be insane to play Wood Elves this season. Well, who, people who are trying to qualify for the World Cup have to be insane to use Wood Elves this season with Inarian and Ducky. This competition. <laughs> Bogues are not a good team. <laughs> Nine. I'm I'm winning this stuff with chaos. Do you know what? Do you know what? I was thinking I was thinking last night. I read an article on Facebook and I thought, here I am fucking moaning about dice in a computer game. And then, you know, there's people with actual real problems in real life and it's a bit pathetic, isn't it? So I'm just gonna sit through the torture of chaos, who cares? You know. So there you go. Zero salt ever again. Mr. Positive.
Yeah, they are. I think they're just taking too many losses so far. I mean, I'll keep them. I'll keep them, and I can always go back to them later. I can't. I'm not going to delete them. But um, but there you go. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? <laughs> wow. Twenty ten five. That is outrageous. That is outrageous, puppy eighty one. That is outrageous. Uh, no, it wasn't a poorly lad. It was a it was a girl who died. <laughs> there you go, Tazoe. Um, <laughs> one more Augustus. Yeah, three hours later, rip Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, I might not be. It's hard. It's uh, it's it's obviously hard to keep relentlessly positive all the time. But um, uh, last season that he's talking about them, is good. Right, one, two, three, yeah. So again, I don't, I don't care about hurting a zombie, so it's better to make a safer block, isn't it? That is definitely... This is definitely the play to just hit Blitz with Mighty Blow. Also, if he gets a Kaz, he gets Claw. So, um, it's a great choice to Blitz with him. Of course, it's a 7 on the armor. <laughs> Classic. Classic dice things. Blitz with, blitz with claw guy. Where's the reroll? Blitz with non claw guy. Roll a seven on the armor. Um, right. These these down guys actually stop him switching sides a bit anyway. So I think we we'll go harder on this side. A little bit. With August. Oh yeah, the old goat meme team. Oh dear. Oh dear. I can't remember. I can't remember who donated the bits for the. Uh, for this. Let me. Uh, let me. Let me see. Is he going to foul here? After GFI? Maybe he just wants them to get... I mean, it's funny how we're just trying to keep them safe. You know, it's... it's it is what it is, isn't it? Scroll through here, maybe I can find out. Oh, I doesn't have them on. I can't remember who donated for the uh, goat team. How many bits to buy four worries for the whole goat team? <laughs> Free. Done. <laughs> He's gonna GFI. That's a GFI, isn't it? It's not a skeleton. Oh, he makes it. Dirty dingo. It's fair enough, he's got 13 players. A good, good player. Would have still liked him to have been sent off. But he has exposed himself. I oh, pushed him into there, that was good, wasn't it? Oh, the excitement. The excitement reaches fever pitch. It's going to get to hit a zombie. Zombie? Mummy? Whatever the fuck they're called. Unless he double GFIs to protect. Or dodges to protect. Maybe I shouldn't give him ideas. Maybe he's in the channel. Maybe I should stop thinking about what people can do. And just let them fucking do it. Hello, Pedro. Yeah, some people have said that. I don't know if it's true. All right. 
So, yeah, the good thing for me is I just don't care about the ball whatsoever. <laughs> Quite the advantage to have. Um, let's keep him down. Yeah, that seems alright. Oh, good. Good. Very good. He's in there. He's in there. He's on 18. He's on 18. They're both on 18. Hmm. Could base both of these. And then blitz over there. Yeah, maybe this is alright actually. Maybe it's a bit of basing. It could bit of basing. Peace, peace, peace. This won't fail. I'm Come on, kill him. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Get the two dice, the mummies, and push him. Um, yeah. I mean, at least I've been lucky in, in his mummy hit so far. He hasn't killed anyone. Being too much and being way too bold. This one came here. <laughs> okay, got it. Yeah, Mr. Positive. Mr. Positive, 100%. It's silly. It's silly to get mad or sad about a game of Blood Bowl, isn't it? So, oh yeah, you can get two dice with it. Oh, with Mighty Blow, but. Alright, oh, okay. Okay, he's not hitting with a Mighty Blow. Maybe he's going to GFI to hit with a mummy. Oh, double skull. Le Double Skulls. So I did give up a two dice block for no reason by basing there. But on the other hand, it, it took three players to make that two dice block, didn't it? So, and now his uh, his mummy is white as blitzable even. So, maybe I should have anticipated that and moved this guy back cent more central. He is gonna GFI the hit with mummy. Wow, that's crazy, Ducky. And what, what TV are you at though? Because I missed a lot of spins when I did the Woodies uh, <laughs> the other se at the start of the season. I missed loads of spins because my, my TV, and then with my TV Plus as well, was just so high that I just didn't get anybody ever. Yeah, see, see that's the thing. You're, you're only going to get matched. You're, you're always going to be the worst one to get matched, aren't you? In, in any round. If there's, a, if there's ever an odd number of people spinning, you're the one that isn't going to get matched. Because your TV Plus is going to be put you through the stratosphere <laughs> so <laughs> yeah that's true Kate Goddard that's true but really really honestly I was I was watching this thing on Facebook and I was like yeah man you've got to fucking get your shit together and not not care about a game of Blood Bowl like even though it is the time you've put in and everything so it's not so silly to care but it is a bit silly to get mad and everything, isn't it? <laughs> Spinning on a 1990 chop team, yeah. Yeah, Christopher was 7-1-0 last time I saw him. Yeah, it's a good idea. I should have, oh, run ads is on, run ads is on. The top, be positive, never ever surf again. Focus, safe moves first, look at chat and opponent's turn. I'm kind of doing all this stuff. Yeah, that's true, Dr. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's, he's going to do this GFI without a re-roll now. Come on, roll a one, die, and it'll be glorious. I didn't like exposing the Claw Mighty Blow here. I guess what I should have done was put the Claw Mighty Blow there and the Beastman there. Would have been the play, wouldn't it? So I've asked for this. I've asked for this casualty here. He can't follow because he'll expose this guy. Wow, I'm surprised he did the one of there. But it still can't. It can hit him though, which will get these up as well. So that's great. Well, if I power him. Right. Let's. Um, I guess he had. Oh, he had block and I didn't. Fair enough. Fair enough then. 
It wasn't madness. Probably should have done another safe move first, but didn't. Because I had these two to move, I just hadn't moved them, had I? But then if it was a power, I might have moved him somewhere differently, or these somewhere differently. Who knows? You can't double GFI to one dice, that's insanity. So, kind of parallel, isn't it, is the play, I always think. This is the same Chaos Cutback team. This is Rebel, yeah, this is the Rebel. The Rebel League match. I should have put it in the title, maybe, but I just couldn't be bothered to change the title. I'm absolutely shattered, by the way, still. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the flawed goals were pretty good, weren't they? Yeah, yeah they're getting away quite well. Oh, he's got guard, hasn't he? Kind of forgot about that. Kind of forgot that he's actually got a guard. Well, the good thing is by committing it, I might get to hit it with, with Claw Mighty, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's Rebel. I mean, it's another Chaos team. God, yeah, I know it could have. Yeah, this this team after six games in Champs Ladder would be amazing, wouldn't it? I feel pretty confident at qualifying. With a record as well, five wins and a loss was really good. Uh, probably going to lose this one, though, I think. Hopefully, you'll have to use the Wizard on offense. That's That's my dream, isn't it? And then I'll get a draw out of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Keiko Dead. Me too. And just you know, just that that guy. You know, I got a cast in on turn one against the Chors, and he's like, I know what kind of game this is going to be, and it's like, I wish. Oh no, I got the perfect defense. I didn't even get a cast. I got perfect defense, and then he got the KO turn one, and then he got a cast turn two, and then he got a cast turn three. And I'm like, fuck's sake! <laughs> Why couldn't it be one of those kinds of games? Oh. No, oh God, this could be a somewhat painful turn, couldn't it? God, sleep in my eye. I thought I based, based okay here. I didn't just hurt dirt face. I did, like, you know, make it a bit tricky for him, but the fact he's got this guard. Not so good. White Twix, oh baby. <laughs> it is indeed, yes, carnage. Yes. Yes. Cows for casualty. Oh, getting hit by Mighty Blow here. Oh no, he didn't, he moved him. Oh, okay. Okay, so this isn't so bad. I've survived this so far, haven't I? The classic one dice pal. Brilliant. We all we all love that one. <laughs> um, right now, is there a way for warriors to do things? Or I mean, I could blitz him, claw on him, block him. But then the mummies are just just wrecking me, aren't they? Is there a way to blitz him? Maybe. No. Could get an assist here, and then he's got guard. I think blitzing them at this might they're all just mighty blow players at the end of the day, aren't they? So blitzing him seems alright. Uh, he could hit him, but then he's he's getting hit by a mummy, isn't he? He could go in there and I could one dice the mummy. That's probably worth doing. And then he could one dice this one, but it's a three plus. Alright, I guess I've got to do it actually.
classic one die so let's go one dice power cars injury would be ideal do I follow no oh classic <laughs> classic one dice pal this one's a lot dodgier this this one dice because it would mean putting him in to get hit and then it's a three plus and that's a two plus because both down at least takes him up for the turn so it's a two plus yeah all right then fuck it let's go i'll re-roll the skull but won't re-roll the buff down pal ha <laughs> cheeky <laughs> Alright, pretty good. Pretty good turn there, two one dice pals. <laughs> Dirty bastard. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting play. Um <laughs> look a noob. Hundred percent no. I mean it was lucky, but it wasn't newbie, was it? I mean I had to I had to do them because they're strength five and what else can I do? I can't not hit them and just get two dice. But it was definitely, it was definitely Looker. <laughs> Looker as fuck. I mean, even, because that's the thing, just powering them means that he's got a GFI to do anything relevant, hasn't he? That's why I didn't follow, because I thought, you know, obviously I didn't know I was going to get this stunned, but if, if I'd followed there, he could have GFI to Blitz, couldn't he? Whereas now, you just have a GFI to go anywhere, so. He's in a bit of tr trouble now, isn't he? He's in a bit of trouble. Is he going to reverse? Reverse, crisscross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dirty rat man, yeah. Yeah, apart from there, when I, when the one dice powers come out to play. I mean, I've still got a quite, a, quite a bit back, so I should be able to react if he tries to switch. And also, if he, if he decides to switch, then his mummies are completely out of the play. So, yeah, those two stuns are absolutely crucial this time. And the knockdowns, just been great. Double GFI to hit. Wow. Ballsy. Oh. <sighs> Survived. <laughs> Survived. Does he have the ball in the blodger or the dodger? He's only got the ball in the blodger, so if I can hit him with block, got a shot. Got a shot at knocking him over. Yeah, he might use the wizard to score. He might do. Two D only makes a push twice as likely. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> He's committed to the one dice now because he can't let me two dice his school with Mighty Blow, can he? So he's committed to this one dice without a reroll. So that's interesting. Let's go. Good. 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 Two resists in there. So two dice him. So yeah, I have to, just have to get a push here. Could I uh, push him? No, I can't. I have to blitz here, push him. Blitz here, block here. Block here, chain him to there. Block him. Nah, I wouldn't get him into the, onto the ball anyway. Right, safe moves first. Get a get a sweeper with block. Seeing as his ball carrier doesn't have it. And these guys can just stand up. Right, mighty blow hit. Brilliant, don't get the uh, don't get the push that I need. <laughs> okay, he could go in there. He could go in here. He could blitz and then come out. Ah, he can blitz and go out. He blitzes and goes to here. Claw goes in, he goes in. He two Ds, he two Ds. And he stays here. Yeah, that seems reasonable. So again, need a push. Got the pal. Outrageous. Should have used Mighty Blow. No, it doesn't matter. Alright. 
I just wanted to protect Claw. That I mean, I would have blitzed him with Claw. I think seems obviously couldn't get the ball down, knock down, but All right, push. Push is somewhat good enough. Don't think I want to base him actually, do I? No, probably not. Probably not. Right. Sextus the Anatomist. <laughs> yeah, that's a good name. I mean, he's not really protected, is he, actually? Because he could just blitz him with his mummy, but that's not going to get him a touchdown. So it depends how much he cares about actually getting a touchdown. And he's, it looks like he's going to make this move to base him, whereas, I, you know, that's what I was thinking about doing myself. Why not base him? He could have blitzed me. He could have blitzed me with this guy. If, I, uh, if I'd if i base him, I'll tell you then, Cake of Death. If I'd based him, then he, start, he, he doesn't have to move with him. Mummy comes in here, and uh, he blitzes with Mighty Blow. So, that's what I was thinking. TBH, Famalands. And whatever happens, he could just GFI to Blitz with the, uh, GFI to Blitz with the Mummy anyway. So. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. Protects him from the mighty blow. Blitz, and then you know he could have rolled some dice. I mean, he's had to roll some dice anyway, whatever he does. But yeah, I should say stuff like that, shouldn't I? Instead of just doing it. But it's it's hard because it, you know it, it, Buford T Justice could be watching, and I don't want to give any I don't want to give him any insight that he may not have got naturally, because you know it's not like I don't have to be better. You don't have to be better than somebody to spot something that they haven't seen, do you? So um, it's not it's not big headed of me to say that. I just think that you know maybe. You don't want to say things that they haven't seen, but yeah, I do. I should. I, I do try to say what I'm thinking, but yeah, it was a good question, Kaker. That's why I didn't, and it doesn't mean that I was right not to follow, or you were, or you were right to follow, does it? It's just, it would have just been, just been interesting. This is only scoring threat, isn't it? I think. <laughs> oh, too specific. You might want to do dirty rat man to save time and then get another game quicker. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be the, it would be the worst idea. <laughs> it depends. It depends. I mean, you know, you know, some people would you would say you should fight it out whatever happens, but hmm, it's interesting, isn't it? This this school can't be because they're only movement seven. So no, no way. No, this is his one scoring threat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one can get in scoring range if he does the GFIs. Yeah, if he GFIs all the way to there, but then he can just get surf and stuff, can't he? I can triple mark this guy. T swizzle. interesting I think he probably he, he has to go for this doesn't he because he has to have all in one scoring threat yeah yeah fair enough so I've got a double double screen against this guy because he's got to go forward no he's, he's, oh, he didn't he didn't have to do two wow really got it he can go laterally one Got to mark it. I could hit the ball. God, I could just hit the ball. That might be the best course of action, right? Now he's going to base him. Whatever happens, done. He's got to hit him, and then I can think about what else to do. Wow. <laughs> oh, you cunt! <laughs> right. <laughs> 
So, one, two, three, four, five. Can hit them with block mighty blow. Um, it's pretty good. I think that's actually probably the best idea because he has got agility three and everything. So he could go there. And he can go here. And that kind of makes his touchdown a bit harder anyway. Hey. Oh, I should have pushed him back maybe. Oh, Kaz, get out of town. <laughs> get out of town. Huge Kaz. You need a caught it as well. Right, that looks pretty safe, doesn't it? Um, I could block him and get a scoring threat. That's, uh, that looks good, doesn't it? Let's go for the old canoring threat. <laughs> um. See, now that's where the scoring threat is bad because it would be much better to two dice this this white than, than run a, a silly scoring threat, but never mind. Um, he's got guard, so I can't hit him whether I get an assistant or not. Oh no, I can't get an assistant here. Is this dodge worth it? It's only a zombie. Probably is worth it, isn't it? A follow? It's actually pretty hard for him to surf me. I get in the way more, don't I? Let's go with that. Alright. <laughs> yes. Hmm. I didn't like leaving that guy. I didn't like this scoring, running this scoring threat, but you know, without a reroll, if I had a reroll, I think the scoring threat would have been a lot more valid. But uh, he goes for the zombie hit. But still can't free the mummy, so... But yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that, because he could have freed up the mummy, couldn't he, for the blitz. Maybe I shouldn't have followed there, actually, thinking about it. Maybe I shouldn't have even made the block. I'm getting lucky with these zombie... These zombie... What are they called? Mummy hits. Only taking one knockout. He's down two, so he's got 11 max. But then he's got 11 max anyway, so. <laughs> but if I can make a Kaznet or a KO next turn, he might be down then at the start of the drive. It looks like he's not even trying to score then, does it? Or, or an incredibly unlikely play to score. One, two, three, four, five. GFI handoff, GFI score. Not even unlikely, really. Big boy zombie, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what they are. Now he's just gonna base base the base the warrior, that seems that seems fair. I'll get in the way. Oh, base the ball. Hook go. Base, base, base. Oh yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty good spot, isn't it? That's a pretty good pretty good spot. Can't argue with that. I think I'll just try and chloro chloro mummy. <laughs> or maybe surf the white.
Yeah, exactly, Don Nicholas. Yeah, I would totally go for the Paz. Yeah, I was just counting out in my head there. One, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI, pass, score. I, that's what I, that's the play I'd do if I had re-rolls. But without a re-roll, I think one, two, three, four, five, pass is better. Right, surfing the ghoul seems absolute number one priority, doesn't it? Seeing as he's Seeing as he has said to me, here, please surf my ghoul. Um, it seems like something that I've got to do. Now, when I say got to do, got to try to do. Mm, just block here first. GFI to hit with claw. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't GFI to hit without claw. As soon as it gets us a surf, I think I do the uh, I do the non greedy play of hitting with block. Ghoul's gone. And now for the bullshit attempt. Oh. No. Oh, Chada. Chada. <laughs> bullshit <laughs> bullshit attempt results in a KO, but never mind. <laughs> ah yeah, that's a good point. Lemon is good. That's a very good point. <laughs> ah, back in. Oh my god, we're a dream first half. Both ghouls gone. And he's down to 10, isn't he? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Down to 10, 3 out. Both ghouls, though. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh, Jelly. I wish I had a reroll for that. I wish I'd saved a reroll for that attempt. Thanks. I did get pretty lucky, though, didn't know, with the uh, surviving the. Surviving the uh, undead hits, the uh, mummy hits is pretty good. Oh wow, brutal wolf bar. <laughs> um, yeah, a reroll there would have been really nice, wouldn't it? Reroll that second dodge and maybe, maybe get the pass, maybe get the catch, maybe get the touchdown. I mean, going at one nil would have been really good. But now his wizard isn't even that good, is it? Because he's only got two agility three players left. So. So that's interesting. Random. Best for Gore. Yes to carry, doesn't he? Random beast man. Oh, flat far got the Kaz. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, yeah, he Kaz the girl, didn't he? Brilliant. I could say glorious. I guess he wants to go in the middle. And same with him. And then he wants to blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's okay. Good not having on the line as well, so if he gets a perfect defence, he can maybe blitz a mummy. Loop for Gore could stay on the bench. Maybe I should have more back in case of the wizard? Yeah, go on. There's no reason not to, is there? No reason not to play a little bit safe now. Try 
try to go more symmetrical. Snap's pretty decent, isn't it? These get in there. Right. No. Oh. <laughs> VGP. Classic. <laughs> right. He can protect the ball a little bit. Look at me playing like a real person. We definitely want to power him to there. Oh, baby. Do I, uh, do I just make a two dice? No. That would be absurd. Ah, but it blocked off the blitz. Root. Locked off the blitz route, so I got with this guy instead. Never mind. Three dice here. Classic. Fucking fly. Right, but we screened <laughs> we screened the claw and mighty blow players here. He can go one, two, three and blitz them, but he'd have to GFI to hit the warrior, so I think. Stay here, so he's got a GFI to hit him. Um, and also with two GFIs, because he'd have to go away this tackle zone, so that's all right. So yeah, time for the uh, time for the old claw blitz. And then also get back towards the ball a little bit. Not much, but a bit. I, don't, I think it's okay against uh, Wizard and only two whites. Guarantees brainless chaos, pays cautiously, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh -huh, best football. Oh no, Big Boy Fago. Wow, how did he even hurt Big Boy Fago? There must be trickery there. <laughs> oh, little Baz, yeah. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? It's fun It's fun playing, like, about 12 hours every day. Uh, the record is horrible, unfortunately, little Baz. It's, like, 12-1-5, so I think I'm going to sack off that team, start a new one. This is Rebel. Um, Rebel, Rebel, Rebel. I should have made the t title Rebel. I could still change it, couldn't I? Um, let's... Let's change the title. This is the Rebel League match, not a qualifier, obviously, because I wouldn't take fucking chaos in qualifiers. <laughs> but um, it does seem fair, yeah, because they've got this. They've got insane numbers. It's all been done about one ticket per thirty players. Jellied eels. Um, right, one, two, three. One, two, three. So he can't hit anyone good with mummies. I mean, he can hit with him, but he's only strength three. It's only hitting zombies, so I think yeah, making the safe play with the uh, with the uh, what's he called? Mighty blow is the way forward, isn't it? Let's go one back. Even though it doesn't mean a lot. Been very cagey here, but I do want to, you know, I want to get the ball up, don't I? And before I, I, you know, there's no need to put pressure on before I've got the ball in hand. Uh, 
and uh, just play around the wizard a little bit. And then now next turn I can start I can start trying to push forward. Also uh, that guy recovers then, doesn't he? Well, well, Joey, there's, there's more to, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Rebel ha uh, tw TBBL has one ticket for about 30 odd, hasn't it? I think BBT has one ticket for like 50 people. Oh no, two, two, no, that was actually one of the better ones, two tickets for about 50 people. Um, yeah, Wolfpack is. Uh, I'm <laughs> Leagues are a bit. Um, leagues are a bit. <sighs> the multi tiered online leagues is the best way to run them. You know, that's it. No question. It's what works, it's what will always work. It's the best way of doing it. But, um, I'm not that big a fan of them. Uh, no, but for the, for, the, for the ticket, Kiwi Nutsack Attack. Kiwi Nutsack Attack, for the, uh, for the, uh, for the, the playoff was about 30 in Twitch Blood Bowl League. Maybe it's even more than that. Yeah, that's true, Lil Baz. I'm, I'm not going to delete them. I'm going to keep them on 12.15. Um, but, yeah, I think making a new team maybe is better. Because, you know, I think I can do better than 12.15. 12.15 seems really horrible. I think if I'd got, you know, something like 12... 12.03, I'd be a lot happier. Um... Claw him and then push really hard forward down this side. Um, or I could push him and then just push a little bit forward, turn 11. Because I don't have to push too far forward. But getting away from a getting away from a mummy would be nice, wouldn't it? At least for a turn. Can't really get away from him. I'd like to knock down the... I would like to mighty blow <laughs> the dirty player as well anyway. Let's try that. Hey! <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Got out of the dirty player, that's good. That keeps the team alive more, doesn't it? Put a mighty blow base on him. Let's get a good old scoring threat behind enemy lines. Not really a scoring threat, but um, you know, it's something, isn't it? thing is I can always swing I can always switch sides and everything because he's got two moving three guys hasn't he that really really can get um can get out of position very easily <laughs> glorious Pedro Jack no it doesn't look easy to qualify from Rebel at all no Nah, to be fair, Lemon has got I got some lucky wins. I got some lucky wins with that with that team, so Yeah, if they were 13 2 3 I'd really be happy with them. But 12 1 5 is really unhappy with. Um, yeah.
that. I do I do quite like Rebel the best, but um I think I like Rebel the most, but Yeah. What I think would be good if there were regular NAF style tournaments. I mean, I, I wanted to make it happen, but I just haven't made it happen because I've been having to qualify for Chance Ladder and then moving and then, you know, all sorts. So, um, seeing as Full Metal Cos is here, this saves me writing PMs. You could, you could, could you write me on Discord with your reply if you, if you want to keep it private, Full Metal, but seeing as you're here, I can just ask you directly on the stream rather than having to uh, think of it right, right nicely word a, an email or anything but I was thinking what would be good is seeing as I made the official NAF ladder which is official you know I've, I've spoke to Mike Davies and everything and it they this they need they need to be able the matches report they needed information from the matches in a certain manner which it looks like it's possible to do um, but I was thinking seeing as Rebel have one day tournaments quite regularly and they're the biggest Blood Bowl league in Blood Bowl 2 by far and away a million times bigger than everything else they're massive and they have these huge one day tournaments why not have official NAF tournaments run by Rebel I think that would be brilliant personally I think that would be absolutely fantastic um, so you know I'm wondering if you could make that happen or would be interested in making it happen would be really really good um, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. I don't want to squeeze myself onto a sideline here. Protecting his mummies very well, despite being men down. Let me just stand my guys up and make the push next turn. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I should stop being a baby. And commit to something. Let's get. He can stay behind. I've I've got it. I've got to start moving forward at some point. I quite like these as an anchor here. Just a big line. Shame I don't get three dice here. Then I can go either way, can't I? Really got to move though, some point in the future. <laughs> Is he down the line? Okay, so he's got to stun this turn. All my guys are up nearly. Maybe next turn is the pushing turn. Let's see, let's see what happens. I'm not does heavy because, um, because I am in Germany, so no. No. Oh, glorious. Glorious full metal. That would be, I think that would be amazing because, you know, like, it, it you know, I, I don't want to promote the NAF official as my league because it's not, you know, I just, I wanted there to be an official NAF league. So I just made it and then, you know, but really it would have been better if someone else had made it <laughs> other than me. But um, I just really wanted it, you know, and, and that would be amazing if there could be NAF tournaments. You know, anyone else could run it. I, I, I've, I've got no particular, you know, desire to for me to be the guy in charge of be Johnny Big Bollocks or anything. Um, so, yeah, that, I think that would be amazing. It is getting dicey. Yeah, Cake of Death. Yeah, it is. It is getting dicey. I've still got all three rerolls though. Um, I still have all three rerolls, so I can push hard now. I think next turn I push hard and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Next turn. I don't think I'll force a wizard. I don't think I can force a wizard. I just think it's going to be something he's going to want to do at some point. I'm just going to. Uh, I'm just going to fucking bez forward now. I think I was too constricted last turn. I, I wanted to push last turn, but it, it, I was too much up against that sideline if I wanted to go. Whereas now I can still go either way at the moment. 
Oh, if he fails this, huge. Huge. Oh, he makes it. Dirty Dingo. <laughs> Dirty Dingo. The, the good old zombie dodge. The good old zombie dodge. Wow. You never see that coming, do you? Two in one turn. Disgusting. Disgusting. I mean, that's huge. That's absolutely huge because... I really didn't want this guy here. If this guy had been stuck here and he'd fail that dodge, power him, power the mummy, everything's up here and it looks amazing. Now I've just got to blitz this crappy zombie instead of blitzing the mummy. But still, should be able to get forward quite far. Right, blitzing without claw, mighty blow. Feels bad, man. Maybe I should have pushed him back into that there. Uh, into the warrior there. But didn't one two three four five so I can get quite a lot here you can stand up there and basing him is alright with this but it could be a different warrior well no it couldn't be couldn't be a different warrior. Right. He's got a herb to base him, hasn't he? Just got to. Feels bad, man. Right. A lot to like about that turn. Would have loved to have been able to blitz, claw mighty blow blitz the uh, mummy, but it would have failed anyway, wouldn't it? Oh, the ball comes in. <laughs> pretty, pretty good fireball. <laughs> the, the, got everything he wanted, didn't he, really? He needed one of these two. And then he got him as well as a bonus. So, pretty good fireball for him. Still, he's running out of players, isn't he? So if I can just survive it, just survive somehow. <laughs> oh God, what a brutal turn. <laughs> what an absolutely fucking brutal turn this is. KO on the Wiz, KO on the Blitz. But still, he's he's down players as well, isn't he? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got nine as well, so it's nine aside still. And there's really nowhere for his ball carry to go, but my touchdown's gonna be hard. For sure. No, it's a league match, doesn't mean anything, I gotta <laughs> Result literally doesn't matter at all. Even though it's an exciting top of the table clash, um, the result literally doesn't matter at all. <laughs> so, so there you go. <laughs> oh man, dingo. I was just wondering if he was going to punt, punt it or not. It's a little bit risky, but there's a good payoff if he does it, isn't there? If 
If he fumbles this, it's all gravy. Oh, you dirty bastard. Right, now it's going to get tricky to score, isn't it? <laughs> right, now it gets tricky. We're on equal men as well. Good mighty blow. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Joe. Yeah. But yeah, it's going to be hard to score, isn't it? I can't help but try to score myself. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI, pick it up. Mm. One of these, get one of these beast men can score. You could, I could reroll the. I've got to reroll this turn anyway, so I could just GFI twice. So saves him from getting clawed by the mummy. He could one at him. It doesn't really seem worth it, even with a reroll, does it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Pick it up, turn 15, turn 16, get back to here. Pass it, hand off, score. Easy as you like. Um... No, not necessary, Jerry. We can still lose it. I can still lose. Don't worry about that. <laughs> he hasn't conceded a touchdown. If he hadn't had a wizard, he would have done. But yeah, he can just do this, can't he? This is the, this is the sad thing. I've, I've thought about keeping this guy here so that he couldn't do it and then dodge out this guy to go for the ball. Maybe that would have been the better play as well. I think a dodge and a one dice getting an armor break isn't too unlikely. And if that happens, getting another armor break here. Um, it gets very tricky, doesn't it? Too unlikely, Jelly. I don't think losing is too unlikely. Getting dies to death now. <laughs> all these, all these stuns and KOs. <laughs> really getting, getting annihilated on the dice front now. Holy shit. The whiz, yeah, the whiz was brutal. The whiz, the whiz was very brutal. It was an incredible lucky whiz. I mean, it, I don't think it was the. I don't think it was a bad decision to whiz, but it was incredibly lucky, wasn't it? Exactly, he could Joey. not even kill, just stun. Just to stun here is horrible for me. I mean, I'm in a world of hurt if he stuns. I think maybe I made the wrong play. I think maybe I should have stood here and then dodged him out. Yeah, I mean, I knew he, I knew he would make the dodge and the pow. That's that's a given. The only thing is whether he stuns. All right, he doesn't. Good. No, no, he's got, he's got two turns after this, so he needs no GFIs. Yeah, it's my drive. He wizard. He just wizarded, Jelly. Are you not? We not watching. <laughs> right, four, five, six, GFI, GFI, and then uh, right, stand him up. Stand him up.
He comes back. Right, so I've just got to pow him here. If I don't pow him, it's bad times, isn't it? See? I told you. I told you, Jellio. I told you. I told you I was going to lose. Eh? I fucking told you. I, it was obvious. But I should have... I did the wrong play. I should have, I should have stood him here. And then dodged out with that guy. But instead, I decided to lose. Of course he one dice powers me and I four dice power myself. Of course that was gonna happen. There was no other, there was no other course of action. But yes, losing is, I still get pissed off when I lose. That's what I said. Exactly, T's result. Exactly. Losing is best for me. That's the best thing that can happen to this team is losing without taking a perm is the ideal result. But I want to fucking win, because I want to fucking win. And I fucking hate losing. Even, like, that's why I hate these kind of leagues. <laughs> Tiered leagues like this. Nothing against how well it's run or anything. But that's why I hate these kind of tier leagues, because this is actually the best result I could have possibly got at the moment, providing no one dies. And I just hate fucking losing. Fucking hate it. Fucking hate it. <laughs> Blitz. How in? Run away from the mummies. <laughs> Should it lose it? <laughs> Thanks, Pedro. Thanks. Shouldn't have followed. Should I have followed just out of habit? But um, that might have put me in a mummy range. Oh, it didn't matter. It didn't matter because they can go. They could get me anyway. Oh well. There you go, wizard. Wizard, pretty decisive there. Um. And it was that dodge. If you'd fail that dodge, then my blitz on the mummy instead of the you know that got me a few more squares forward, and I've had a much stronger cage. So it actually, the wizard, while it was very lucky. Um, it obviously, it was the it was the right play and everything, but yeah, I think I think I should have uh, that beast man who went to pick up the ball should have stood there to stop him dodging out so easily, and then gone for the pick up the warrior. Yeah. GG. Yeah, I thought I had him for sure as well. Then. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I could have done. I thought about it at the time, Jillio. I thought about it at the time, not with hindsight, but I just thought this gives me more chance to win. But it was an 8 out of 9 dodge, wasn't it? And a, and a 4 plus block. So it really wasn't unlikely at all for him to do it. Ah, it works now. You can be mine. Glorious. Thanks very much, Inarian. <laughs> you can be my wingman man anytime. Um, he said, uh, GG, well played. Thought you had me. But uh, it was a lucky wizard. Might your hindsight. Oh, no, no. I thought, it. I thought of it at the time that that would be the right play. But then I thought, well, it's not right play. It was a harder play to get the ball and to score, but it was a safer play to not lose, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> I said try harder next time and lose it. I got, I got incredibly lucky casting the two ghouls in the first half, to be fair, which would have made his wizard not need to be as lucky as it was. Um, so yeah, overall, no complaints um, at all. Just got just got beaten by the wizard, which is, which is fair enough. I had a better team, didn't I? And he had to have the wizard do something good. But... Um, there you go. All right, cheers, Inarian. See you later. <laughs> it's been confirmed. Okay, let's see what the let's see what the level up is. Maybe I should, and, and also in retrospect, maybe I should have gone guard first on that other beast man, with this particular matchup in mind. Maybe claw on this guy, hundred percent. Yeah. Where is it? Claw claws. All right, good. And. Uh, Maybe he's block. Maybe he's guard on this guy. Or maybe he's block. We'll see. Maybe block. Just I've got more chance of a ball carrier. I do like a stat. Do like a statted up ball carrier. There you go. Congrats to Buford T Justice. He's probably won the league now. I think now that he's beaten me. I think that was the big one to decide who wins the league. Really. Um, I mean, obviously we could both drop points, but that was in my hands to put us on level footing, and I failed. So, <laughs> right. thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.